Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a follow up on that Marks 999 pre war that arrived about, uh, I don't know, two hours ago, something like that. As you can see, I have touched up the paint, and this old locomotive actually looks fairly respectable. I haven't done anything with the rust on the wheels yet. I just uh, straightened the dent that was in the cab, touched up the paint with an ink marker and just lightly brush this with motor oil. So, by tomorrow, this paint will, or the oil will have penetrated the paint. It'll lose all this gloss, but it'll look virtually new, like it's been repainted. Hasn't been, of course, it's still completely original. But uh, the nice thing about using ink marker and oil is the uh, ink marker instantly covers the bare metal, and then as soon as the oil touches it, it takes on this deep black color which matches the rest of the locomotive. So you cannot see where the paint has been touched up, as you see. I haven't done anything with the wheels, haven't done anything with anything yet. But so far, I have uh, put four drops of oil on the motor, uh, oiled the wheel bearings, basically uh, cleaned the uh, wheels, and when basically I mean wiped them down with a piece of an old towel. That's all I've done to this, and tightened the light bulb. So I haven't had to do any repairs to it at all. Anyway, I've got it on the, uh, let's see, this is the third rail pulling 10 Marx cars, 10 litho cars, two of them are lighted. As you see, this old locomotive is up and running absolutely perfectly. That's 50% power pulling 10, 10 litho cars, and two of them are lighted. So, looking at this thing running, you tell me, was it worth 10 bucks? You know, I was the only bidder on this locomotive. Haven't even had to replace the light bulb. It's got the original light bulb in it. As you see, it runs absolutely smoothly, forward and reverse. It was absolutely dirt cheap, and it's 85 years old, roughly. So, this turned out to be a really, really decent pre-war 999 for $10. So, as I always stress, don't overlook the jump. This thing's only been here a couple of hours. Requires no repair, no parts, cleaning and lubrication, nothing else. And as you see, this is running absolutely perfectly. So now I'm just going to let it run. So I run them for about 20 minutes, put another drop of oil on all the moving parts and run them again, forward and reverse, different loads, different speeds. Get them used to running again. By tomorrow, this thing will be running like it never sat in a box for 50 years. Oh, I've just derailed. Now that's the second time on this consist that that same car has derailed. So, Let's change the coupling a bit. Like I said, on these uh, 10 litho cars, when you start getting them heavy, when they start going around curves, it will actually pick one of the cars up off the rail. Anyway, that should have corrected the problem. Let's see here. Yep. But as you see, this thing's running perfectly. 50% power, pulling 10, 10 litho cars. You know, these Marx motors are virtually indestructible. The only thing that kills them is sitting, especially in a damp environment. Attacks all the pop metal, attacks all the copper contacts, E-unit stops working, motor stops running. But as you see, in this case, a few minutes worth, oiled it, touched up the paint, done nothing to it as far as repairs. Then I bought it just to get the wheels off of it. So obviously I'm not going to tear this apart. This runs perfectly. It's actually running much faster now. 
at the same uh, voltage setting. So the longer it runs, the better it will run. So I'm happy with it. Ten bucks, I was the only bidder. How do you beat that? Anyway, just want to do a quick follow-up video. And again, don't overlook the jump. No one bought this because it looked terrible. But as you see, just a few minutes of your time, you've got a really, really decent early Marks locomotive for 10 bucks. Hard to beat that. Anyway, just a quick follow-up video. As always, have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's at gmail.com. As always, thank you for watching.